Hello everyone, welcome to Final Report Tutorial Lesson 8 on floating chart. So as we introduced the cell chart before, the only difference between floating chart and cell chart is that floating chart won't expand uh, by the effect from parent cell and also floating chart can be dragged anywhere on the design page. Open the designer, so this is the template that we made for our lesson 7 for cell chart. So the only thing we need to delay was the cell chart that we insert. And also we're gonna save it as a new template called floating chart. Alright, so next we're gonna do the insert part. Hit on insert menu on the top and the second option, float element, we have the fourth option, insert chart. So last time in lesson 7, we used the insert cell element to insert chart. So this time it's gonna be floating element. And also we have the short key you can click. It's gonna be the same result for insert floating element. So go ahead, click on it. And we're gonna choose column chart for floating chart insert. Okay, so this is gonna be our floating chart. You can drag anywhere you want, and also you can expand any size you want. So next, we're gonna do the data binding for the floating chart. So on the right-hand pane, the third option is the editing page for our floating chart. So we're gonna do the data side binding for DS1 and also the category is going to be salesperson that's going to be our x-axis so also we're going to select our sales name so for the sales name we're going to use region and also the value is going to be sales volume so the sales name is on the right side the little square on the chart so next we're going to keep editing the style for the chart no title and also let's keep our legend which is series under the chart all right, so I'm gonna use label as well. So clicking here, and also for the X axis, we're gonna rotate the word, showing on the X axis for a little bit, just to see in a better way. So we're gonna keep editing, make the format looks better. And we're gonna expand the floating chart a little bit to take up the whole page. So basically we're done for the floating chart editing. So let's preview, see what's going on. All right, so we already have the floating chart. So the only problem is we think our column width is too narrow. So let's go back and uh, change our column width to a bit, little bigger. So we'll go back to the style under the series. We're gonna change our uh, fixed column width to yes. And uh, let's, in here, we're gonna custom our width for the column. So we're going to choose 30. Let's try it. All right, so that looks better. That's going to be our floating chart, web category, and series. So the series in here is going to be data region. So that's why we have two colors, East China and North China. Now let's try another series. So we'll go back to the designer page. And let's try to use different series. So hit on data. So in here, we'll have the series name. I'm going to change to enable field name. Also, for the field name and the sales name, we're going to use, um, let's try sales volume. All right, so now let's preview it. So as you can see, the floating chart is still going to be the same. But also, the series will change from region to self volume. So in this way, we only have one color showing on the page. So that's going to be everything for floating chart. Thanks for watching guys, we're gonna see you next time.